this is the Aki 16,000 milliamp hour solar type C charger. So a 16,000 milliamp hour solar powered power bank with one killer feature is going to appeal to a good few people out there in a couple of seconds whenever they find out what that is. This is hot off the presses from Aki. I hadn't noticed it in their catalogue up until the other day. And thankfully they sent me out with much haste. Inside we have a warranty card. We have the battery. And then under here we have a cable, a micro USB cable that's quite short, and then a user manual. But you may be thinking, why the excitement? Solar batteries have been around for quite some time. And you would be right. And if we have a look at this one, it seems to be no different. It is a solar panel mounted upon what is a typical Aki battery that we have seen several times before. But if you see, there is one distinct difference, and that is around this side. We have Type-C here. So we charge via micro USB. We have four LEDs to indicate how much battery power there is in it. The USB Type-C out and a Qualcomm 3.1 fast charge out. So this should produce some pretty insane results when paired up with a USB device and a quick charge device. <laughs> Hopefully we would have this emptied in about two hours. So around on the back here we have the model PBP23. The micro USB input is 2.4 amps. The quick charge 3.0 output is 3 amps at 5 volts to 6.5 volts, 6.5 volts to 9 volts is 2 amps and then 9 volts to 12 volts is 1.5 amps. However the USB input, aha, so it is input as well on USB, see? 5 volts at 2.4 amps and then output is 5 volts at 3 amps. So we should, should see some pretty spectacular charging going on here. So you can notice above the in there is a little LED. Now if I turn this round toward the lamp, it's glowing. It's taking uh, energy from the light that is behind me. Now if I aim it away, the light goes out somewhat. It's quite difficult to do because this is a well lit area. So if I cover it over with my hand, the green light goes out and now it comes back on. So we know that it's charging via the solar panel. And I'm particularly interested by the solar panel to see just how well this works, how efficient it is, how long it takes to actually charge the device, which is currently half full, so I'll have to drain that. Then set this out on a summer's day, maybe for about three hours, come and check and see how far up it is and see if we can get this fully charged in one day, which would be amazing. Because potentially, leave this charging all day and then charge your power bank off this overnight, depleting this. And you need never actually have to worry about charging your phone again from the wall socket because you would be using solar. That's what we're going to try. So, check out uh, Tech Addicts in the near future to see how successful that really is. Let me know any thoughts you have in the comments box below. Hit that subscribe button, like the video if you fancy, and other than that, take care.